Hello friends, today I am going to solve lit code problem number 605, can place flowers. In this problem, we are given an array of flower bait and a value, integer value n. So the flower bait is um, basically an array which represents where the flowers are plotted and where the flowers are not. So um, if the value of the array is equals to 1 that means that there is a flower planted and if the value is equals to 0 which means that there is no flower planted so we need to plant the flowers uh, in the places where we have zeros and also um, there should not be any adjacent flowers planted um, and if we could plant <coughs> n number of flowers in this array then we would return true else we would return false so now let's look at this problem and try to solve it by okay so we are given this example here right so what we'll do is we need to plant at least one flowers if we are able to plant at least one flowers um, we we will be returning true right so we start from the first and then we see that this is not a zero value which means that we're going to plant a plant here so next what we do is um, since we cannot plant a tree to its adjacent i mean a plant a flower to its adjacent um, index we do not need to check if it's zero or one so what we'll do is we'll jump directly from one to um, the the non-adjacent index that is equals to zero here and now since this is zero we could plant a flower here right but uh, in order to plant a flower here its adjacent uh, values should also be equals to zero that is there should not be any flowers and since both of them are equals to zero um, it satisfies our condition and hence we can plant a flower here so now since we are able to plant one flower we return the value true so let's look at another example let's make it a value zero now in this example again we start from the first index and is there any index before this values before this no right so since there is no value before this we could just assume that um, the adjacent value before that is true i mean there is no flower and now uh, we check the value after it and since it is also zero which means that we could plant a flower here so we are successfully able to plant one flower here right now we could also plant one more flower so since from here we are jumping to non-adjacent index that is this value and we see that its adjacent uh, indices also have the value zero so that means that we could plant a flower here so in total we are able to plant two flowers right which is greater than m so if the value of um, plants planted are greater than or equals to the value of n that is when we return true so that's the case here so that is basically how we will be solving our problem so for this problem we first of all need to check right what we did we checked if this value is zero or not and then we checked its two adjacent um, indices right um, and then um, we changed it to uh, value if we one if we are able to plant the tree and um, we will then decrease the value of n because we are able to plant that one tree and we'll decrease the value of one so eventually the value of n should be equals to zero or less than zero that would mean that we are able to plant at least these many number of plants so let's start coding this problem so um what we need is we need to need a for loop that is we are traversing over each of the flower page starting from one zero and i plus plus so i plus plus suppose if in case um we have something like this then we start from here and our if condition doesn't satisfy that is the condition uh which should be true if the value is equals to zero all adjacent nodes values are also zero but 
since for this one the addition values are not equals to zero right so we'll just make one adjacent jump like let me give you another example here so here in this case um this doesn't satisfy so we jump to this one this doesn't satisfy the condition so we jump here this also doesn't satisfy so we jump here right since we are only making one jump we will reach this point and then this we could uh, plant a flower here right so that's the that's why we are jumping only one step so if uh, the flower bed at that index should be equals to zero right one of the conditions is that and the another condition is that flower bed at previous index right and the adjacent value should also be equals to zero previous and the next index should also be equals to zero so it will be i minus one i plus one equals to zero if that's the case then flower bed at index i will be equals to one and then since we are able to plant we will decrease the value of n and then increment the value of i by one more so here we are missing one thing that is we are only checking for previous value but what if uh, it doesn't have previous value that is what if i is equals to zero that is this value will be negative right and we do not have negative indices so we need to check if i i equals to zero or so if these any of these two conditions is satisfied then that would be true same for this one so if i equals the length of the flower bed minus one that is the last index okay and then we perform an or operation here all right and finally we are going to return if n is less than equals to zero that would mean that we are able to plant at least n number of uh, plants so let's run our code and look for the results awesome let's try to submit it so the time complexity here is O of n because we are iterating over each of the um, index in our flower bed array and the space complexity is constant. Hope you like my solution. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you.